Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for May. Uh, this is a general reading that could help anyone who is Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're well and that you are excited about Friday because Friday leads into the weekend and um, I'm using this JK Waite tarot about 1975 from Japan. Really colorful, unusual colors, but I like that kind of thing. So let's get a sense here of what's going on for Friday. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups. So in looking at this Ten of Pentacles, we see the dogs, the couple, the children, maybe one child, and the patriarch. And this represents family and generations. And there's a beautiful home in the background and so when we see the Ten of Pentacles, it's kind of like that snapshot of a successful family where everyone's being provided for. And there's a sense of harmony and success with your professional life and with your home. And, you know, this is just, it's taking care of the, of the financial matters that affect your, your property, your homes. It could be something as simple as getting life insurance policy or, um, you know, taking care of a will or things like that. You know, it's, it's ensuring that your generations of your family are taken care of. So also, I mean, this could also relate to, you know, saving for child's education, saving for family vacations, but there's a sense here of working together toward the goal of having a secure home front um, with your family. You know, and when I look at this, it makes me think of, uh, you know, we've got all of these generations represented in, and sometimes you look at a family restaurant and you've got the grandparents who have handed down the recipe and the parents who are running the business and then the kids come in to start to learn the business and maybe wait tables or doing cooking. So, um, you know, this is about all things that are running smoothly for your home, your family, your finances, your investments, and more than likely your career and your professional uh, life too, that you've been fortunate enough to be in a position to, to get here. You've also probably been working really hard with the Ten of Wands. You know, this is a, uh, if we see this guy, he's got his head buried in the wands, walking down the street, he's gonna get the job done. Pushing those wands down the street to wherever he's going to go. And it's a 10 card, so again, he may be getting to the end of his um, destination where he's gonna be able to unload these. But this is about shouldering and carrying probably more than you should be. You know, you are doing more than your fair share. You may have a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibilities. You may be asking for more work because it makes you feel secure. Maybe it makes you feel needed. And so, you know, trying to do it all. And there are people in life who can do it all, apparently, you know, it seems like they are. But ultimately, you know, it's very exhausting and it uh, wears you out. And that takes a toll later on. So, you know, you, again, you pay the price with your health and with maybe your mental health too. So ask yourself, is there a way that I can shed some of my obligations or can I delegate? Can I say, hey, can you take care of, um, you know, take things to the dry cleaners or could you do, do the grocery shopping for the week? Or could you take the kids to soccer practice? So, you know, it's, it's being able to manage everything in your life and to not overdo it, to not feel burdened because then that leads to resentment. And just the other thing is when you are working so hard, you know, pushing these wands, you know, putting everything you have to get them to their final place, you know, you do get tired. And when you're tired, it, it may affect another area of your life. So for example, if you're doing all these things, you got your kids to the sport camps, um, PTA meetings, you know, neighborhood committee things, 
and then you're going to work on your taxes. Well, you know, maybe you're exhausted by the time you get to your taxes and you make mistakes. So again, find a way that works for you to lighten your load. Let someone else help you. Don't be afraid to ask for help, to delegate and to say, I need some help here. You guys need to chip in. Because this is, this is a lot and this represents burden and feeling overwhelmed. And that leads to stress. So when you're feeling that way, take a trip back with the Six of Cups to a wonderful place. A place of innocence and of happiness and of good memories. Because at least that's a mental exercise that can make you feel good. You know, with the Six of Cups, we see the older child giving the younger child a cup full of flowers all these flowers here and it's that simple act of giving, of sharing. It's so powerful that when you do that, it uh, creates joy and delight. And you know, whether you're sharing your favorite songs, your favorite TV shows, uh, sharing experiences, maybe going to a sports event, you know, there's a sense of being generous with spirit, generous with friendship. So this is typically a card thought of as nostalgia. Going back in time where you, to an event or a place that makes you happy. And maybe it was an old town that you lived in, your old school, maybe you go back to college. You could run into someone that you used to work with. You could run into an ex. All type of opportunities here, just to take advantage of that feeling of that innocent feeling that, you know, it just brings back a smile on your face. And sometimes that smile on your face is just enough to get you through the burdens that we face or that you face. You know, it's a nice coping strategy. At a literal level, this card could represent spending time with children or there's going to be children in your area, your circle. Um, you know, again, it could be running into an old coworker at the drugstore, you know, when you're getting toothpaste or something. So um, this is a card to feel good. It's a optimistic, I, be, I believe it's an optimistic card of nostalgia that you recapture that makes you feel good, of uh, makes you feel that innocence and that kindness um, vibe going through it. So burden, working a lot of hard work went into getting into this position but don't overdo it give yourself a break and think of something that will put a smile on your face so number wise we have two tens which is interesting because these tens represent really completion the end of a cycle and then there's going to be a new cycle uh, number wise so we've got 10 20 and 26 and then that reduces to 2 plus 6 equals 8 and eight is about power, progress, accomplishment. So I wish you a terrific Friday and uh, I hope it's awesome for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's a great way to stay in touch and I do appreciate it. And I hope you'll check back again tomorrow for another reading. Take care, bye-bye.